I recently finished watching Nathaniel Drew's Skillshare course on finding your creative voice and honing it online. There were lots of insightful pieces of information that I got from this course, but there's one particular idea that I want to talk about more in this video. This idea is about defining core values or themes for yourself. In this video, I'm going to be talking about generating your own core life values, the benefits of this, things to consider when defining them in your own life, and also use my core values as an example of how you can create your own. So the first thing to address is what exactly are core values or themes? You can basically think of these as the things that you want to do with your time and the things that you value in your life. So taking Nathaniel Drew as an example, his core value and his core theme for his YouTube channel is that he is in search of mental clarity. So you can see how this is quite a broad statement or phrase, but it gives you a sense of direction and knowledge about what his particular YouTube channel is about and the overarching idea behind the videos that he's trying to create. So there are three main benefits that I see in creating or defining your core values. Firstly, and this is kind of addressing the main idea of this video, is helping you find your purpose in life. These core principles will become the commandments of your life, essentially. I've spent a lot of time thinking about existentialism and the purpose of life, and I know I'm definitely not alone in this. Many of us think about this at various stages throughout our own lives. Now, while this isn't meant to be a philosophical discussion, I do think that most of us struggle through life aimlessly, kind of meandering through the day-to-day -day struggles of human life. We get so caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life that we lose track of the big picture and why exactly we're traveling down the path that we are traveling. It's so easy to step onto the generic life treadmill in your 20s and only step back off it in your 50s and 60s when you look back at your life regretfully and think, what exactly was it that I've done over the past you know, 30 or 40 years? have I really done the things that I wanted to do with my life? And chances are most of the time that that answer is no, you haven't done the things that you truly wanted to do because you were so caught up in the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle of life that you lost track of the bigger picture. And that's where defining your core values really comes in. If you spend some time really introspecting about what it is that you want to accomplish with your life, then you can create these commandments which govern how exactly you're going to spend your time now and into the future. That way, if you go through these core values every single day in your mind and reflect about how you spent your time during the day, you can reevaluate the path that you're taking and see if it aligns with your core values. Secondly, defining your core values is actually another way to increase your productivity. This is actually something discussed by Greg McEwen in his book, Essentialism, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less. We all struggle to find the time to do things that we want to be doing. Instead, spending our time doing things that circumstances have forced us to do. Little things grab at our attention throughout the day, distracting us from the things that truly matter. For example, I didn't want to wake up this morning and spend the next hour scrolling through my phone on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media platforms. Doing these things didn't align with my core values. Thus, having these core values made me more aware that lying in bed and scrolling on my phone wasn't actually in line with my overall ultimate goals. And that empowered me to get out of bed and start doing the things that I actually wanted to be doing. Now, I'm not saying that you always need to be doing things that contribute to your overall life values or goals, but I do think that it's important that you are intentional about how you spend your time. So if you do decide that you do want to lie in bed for an hour scrolling through your phone, then that's completely fine as long as you are intentional about that. Now, just a heads up that it might take you a few hours or days of deep introspection to really really define your core values to a level that you're happy with. But in the long run, you'll save so much time because you won't be distracted by things that aren't essential to you. And you'll find yourself spending time on the things that truly matter. And so in that sense, you'll be saving a lot of time um, in the long term. The third benefit is primarily for if you are a content creator. And that is that if you have a defined set of core values and you're able to convey this in the videos that you make or the blog articles that you write or the email newsletters that you send out, 
then your audience will have a clear understanding of the purpose of what it is that you're trying to convey with the message or the content that you're creating. And this will translate into them understanding what exactly your mission statement is. If you have clarity about what your purpose is, then all the content that you create will also be more logical and coherent and your audience will thank you for having such a clear cut message throughout each of your videos or you know whatever content it is that you're creating. Okay, so now that we've talked about why this is actually such a useful activity to be doing for yourself, we can talk a little bit more about how you can go about doing this, the process and different things to consider when you do try and define your own core values. The first thing to consider is the duration of your core values. You might think it's pointless to define core values right now at this current point in time because in the future your core values will change. And that's perfectly okay. It's fine for your values to change over time. That's just a natural part of the human experience. We're all going to mature and learn different things about ourselves as we age. And so it makes sense that our core values will change with time. But that doesn't make this a pointless exercise. Right now you have certain things that you want to be doing with your time and so if you're able to define core values it'll help you in your everyday life kind of make sure that you're on track with the things that you want to be doing. It's really easy to get caught up in the everyday life. You know, you go to work, you work your nine to five job, you get home, you watch Netflix, you eat dinner, then you go to sleep and repeat. And that can be really unsatisfying or dissatisfying if you take a step back and you look back, you know, about how you've spent the past year and you realize that it's just kind of been this same cycle um, and you're going through the motions. Um, but if you can take this step back, as I mentioned, and look at your core values, create these core values, and then think about how you're going to spend your time, then you're more likely to feel more fulfilled and satisfied with your life because you realize that the things that you're doing are ultimately the things that you want to be doing and you won't have any regret. So what I'm trying to say is that you should start now and it's okay for your values to change throughout your life. The next thing to consider is whether you're going to use broad or narrow values. So for me personally, I think it's better to have broader values because it gives you more wiggle room in how you can spend your time. So if we take Nathaniel Drew's In Search of Mental Clarity core value as an example, you can see that it's quite a broad statement. He's looking to learn more about the human condition, um, about life, about purpose and he's trying to create kind of like a mental framework or mental algorithm or a clearer way of seeing the world and he can take this in so many ways so having a broad set of values is actually more beneficial as it gives you a wider scope of things that you could be doing that ultimately line up with this set of core values another thing to consider is making core values for both your professional life and also your personal life. So I've made this distinction between the two and I think it's really beneficial because there are certain things that you want to do in your professional life that don't necessarily translate to your personal life. So I think it's important to have a distinction between these two. Okay, so now I'm going to share my core values with you. Hopefully this will help you understand why I do this and it will help you get a clear idea of how you can apply this theory to your own life. So this is the list of my core values. Um, I look at this every single day and to try and remind myself about my core values and um, ensure that you know I'm spending my time in the ways that I wanna be spending it. So I'm gonna now read them out to you. So I've actually just defined professional and personal um, core values. And in terms of professional, I just have one at this stage. And that is to help people live healthier and more resilient lives and empower them to take control of their well-being. Ever since I've started learning more about the growth mindset and human psychology and the human condition, I've been more interested in helping other people kind of take control of their well-being and their lives and their mindsets to help them live happier lives um, and lives that they're more satisfied with. And one of the reasons that I'm or one of the ways that I'm doing this is through this YouTube channel. Um, and I think that in medicine, a lot of the time we get caught just treating diseases and you know helping people become healthier, but that's not necessarily a sustainable change unless we're able to empower our patients to um, 
you know, educate themselves about different ways that they can improve their lives, um, you know, by themselves. So that's kind of why I've defined this as my professional core value. And, you know, as I mentioned in the future, it is able to change. That's completely fine. As I learn more about medicine, as my own beliefs and ideas change, I'm sure this will change in the future. So now my personal values, I've actually got four here. So number one is to discover the meaning of human life and broaden our understanding of humanity. So this kind of is very broad again. Um, and as I mentioned, that's kind of the idea of the core values that I try to write. And there's a few different ways that I try to address this particular core value in how I spend my time. So some of the factors that are related to human life include religion and God, the role of science, the human condition, life beyond earth, um, being intentional with your life and finding your purpose in life. And so I try and learn more about these topics and also produce content in these different topics to help you know other people understand um, and I can help hopefully broaden our overall understanding of humanity. And another important part of understanding the meaning of human life is actually reflecting and introspecting about myself and learning more about my own life and the things that have shaped me into the person that I am today. And so that's why I really like reflecting and you know just sitting at my desk and thinking about myself and what has led me to where I am today. And part of that is actually talking to my dad about how I was as a child um, and learning more about me as a child because I think a lot of us are the people that we are today as a result of our influences by our parents and also our upbringing. So I think it's interesting to kind of dive deeper into that aspect of our lives. And in terms of the broadening our understanding part of our core value, I kind of mean that I hope the thoughts and insights that I share are able to help other people reflect upon their own lives and help shape their ideas about the world and humanity. Um, and it also encompasses the future goal that I have of writing a book about this kind of topic. So my second personal core value is to develop close and meaningful relationships with other people. So one of the ways that I like doing this is, you know, spending time with my family and friends. Another way is by creating this online presence, I'm able to not only connect with the people that geographically surround me, but also other people from across the world. And this is such an important part of modern society because people shouldn't necessarily only be limited to interacting with the people that are geographically close to them. We're so lucky now that we live in a society where we can literally communicate with anyone around the world. And so to develop meaningful and close relationships with people is easier than ever before. Um, and so having an online presence is something that I really am glad that I've started to take more seriously because I can connect with people who are like-minded from all around the world. My third personal goal is to enjoy life and not take it too seriously. So part of this in terms of YouTube is in the form of vlogging and making videos about topics that I like, you know, random tech videos, random things about my day as a med student because I, I enjoyed making those videos and um, that will be fun for me. And even though I have all these other kind of professional, personal core values that I have, I still want to enjoy my life and, you know, not take it too seriously. Part of this enjoyment of life comes in the form of enjoying nice food, you know, enjoying nice clothes or other kind of luxuries of life, because otherwise you can kind of get in this mindset where you're always pushing yourself to be uncomfortable. And that's something I'm going to talk about in my next personal core value. But you don't necessarily have to do that all the time. I don't think it's worthwhile doing it all the time because yes, it's important to you know push yourself to grow, but you also have to enjoy life a little. Life's too short to not enjoy it and not you know be happy and indulge yourself a little bit. In terms of not taking life too seriously, I think a lot of the topics that I'm talking about, you know, the purpose of life and what what are we doing on this planet they're really heavy topics, really serious topics. And so you can become kind of depressed in a way, I guess, thinking about these existential questions. And so I like doing other things like, you know, mindlessly watching TV, reading fiction, playing sports, all these other random things that are fun to do, even though they might not necessarily be beneficial for me in terms of growing as a person. I think, you know, you need to give yourself that, that, um, balance between enjoying yourself and overworking yourself. And the fourth and final personal value that I have is 
adopting a growth mindset. So this comes in the form of many different things, such as pushing myself to seek discomfort, controlling my emotions and reactions to things, trying to learn new skills, being able to accept criticism um, and learn from it and not take it too personally. So as I'm going to talk about in a future video, a growth mindset is so important to essentially just being happy and successful in life, whatever your definition of success is. Um, and so I want to adopt a growth mindset in everything that I can possibly do so that I'm pushing myself to become the best version of myself that I can be. So in terms of things that you can do to keep on track of your core values throughout your life, here's just a few things that you can try. Firstly, you really need to pick core values that reflect what exactly you want to do with your time. You can't pick things that other people are telling you that you should be doing. So many times, and this is kind of like the main reason why we're unhappy, we find ourselves doing things that other people have told us that we should be doing in order to be successful or whatever. But in reality, you have to spend the time doing things that you truly want to be doing. And if you're not, then you're never going to become happy um, and you're never going to be satisfied with the life that you're living. Another great way to build this into your system is to reflect on your core values and how you're spending your time every single day. So I personally journal every single day, or at least I try to. And when I do, I have now started to look at my core values and think about the things that I've done in that particular day and whether they have addressed my core values or they're, they're aligned with my core values. Additionally, at the end of a week, a month and a year, I do like a review of that week, that month or that year. And during these times, I also think about whether my time has been dedicated to doing things that align with my core values. Chances are that if I'm doing things that are enjoyable and that align with my core values, I'm going to be happy with the life that I'm living. The third tip that I've got is that each time that I find myself doing something that doesn't necessarily align with my core values, I try and think about my core values and then make a decision as to whether what I'm doing is really what I want to be doing. As I mentioned before, being intentional is key. So if I decide that, you know, I want to scroll on my phone, then that's fine. I've been intentional about doing it. Um, and then I just set a timer, you know, for like five minutes to ensure that I'm not carried away spending time doing things that don't ultimately contribute to my goals. So in conclusion, creating core values is super important in helping you find meaning and purpose in your life. And I think it's an activity that we all should be doing throughout our lives. You know, as I mentioned, you should reevaluate your values as you kind of progress through your life and different things become more important to you. You should definitely go check out Nathaniel Drew's Skillshare class. It has so many more insightful pieces of information and I would highly recommend that, you know, you check it out. It's only an hour. And as any of you who have looked at Skillshare before would know, you get a two month free trial. So, you know, you literally get all this information for free. Uh, this is definitely not sponsored. I'm not getting any sponsors with only eight subscribers. So definitely go check it out. Secondly, take as much time as you need to, to make these core values. It doesn't matter if it takes, you know, hours, days, weeks, doing this process will invariably be so valuable to you. So don't worry about how long it takes and it will save you time in the long run. Feel free to share your own core values in the comments section below. I would love to hear some of your ideas on how you think you should be spending your time and what gives your life meaning. Sharing your core values on a public forum will not only inspire other people who look at them, but they'll also make you more likely to actually stick to them because now you're held accountable by the people that have read and seen your core values. That's part of the reason why I've decided to make this video and share my core values because now you guys know what my core values are and you can hold me accountable for creating things that don't necessarily align um, with these core values. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kajanan and I make videos like this about personal development and growth, but I also make videos vlogging my life as a medical student and just about medical school in general. These are two of my main interests at the moment and that's why I like creating videos about this content. If either of those topics sound appealing to you, then please subscribe to my channel um, also feel free to like this video. It helps me out a lot and 
hopefully you know I can get more than the eight subscribers that I have now and eventually maybe I will even be sponsored by Skillshare who knows I'll finish by saying this life is unpredictable and that's something that's only become more apparent this year with the emergence of the COVID-19 global pandemic it can be difficult to find meaning in life when there are so many things outside your control that can influence your life massively at a whim so for any of you trying to find your way in life stay disciplined and stay positive you will get there thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video